This is my reception of CHU Canada. Here, let me turn that down. This is CHU Canada. It is a Canadian time station. It is located, uh, in the city of license rather, is Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, I'm actually, my family's from London, Ontario. So, uh, it's a pretty cool radio station. It broadcasts on 3330 kilohertz, 7850 kilohertz, and 14670 kilohertz. Right now I'm tuned to 14.670 megahertz, kilohertz, whatever you want to call it, uh, because it is best picked up, 14.670 is best picked up during the day, and 7.850 is best picked up during the night. Not sure about 3.330 uh, kilohertz, megahertz, because this radio cannot receive that low of a band. Canada, coordinated universal time, 17 hours, 20 minutes. And it announced it in French. So first, the, it'll announce it in English because the broadcast area is pretty much generally North America, Western Canada. But uh, I'm picking it up in, in Virginia. The, t the current time is uh, 1.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I'm in Virginia receiving this station. Um, also, it is uh, just like WWV is uh, broadcast by a United States research company, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. CHU Canada is broadcast by the um, the National Research Council of Canada, and this station has been broadcasting since 1923, and of course it uses UTC because it's coordinated universal time, because it take way too long, it take exactly a minute to broadcast all the times for everywhere, Canada. and sometimes it really wouldn't it really wouldn't be that convenient for that, but uh, still I can pick it up great during the day. For some reason, though, uh, at night, it's just like WWV. WWV, I can pick up great on 20 megahertz during the day. Can't pick it up on 20 megahertz at all during the night. I can pick it up great on uh, 10 megahertz at night and 15 megahertz and even 5 megahertz occasionally. 10 megahertz, 15, 10 megahertz is weak during the day, but I can still pick it up. That's what's happening with this. Basically, this is just like WWV's 10 megahertz and 20 megahertz. 7.850 is 10 megahertz because it's best received at night. And this is 20 megahertz because it's best received during the day. So I'll let you hear it for a little bit more. And, um, yeah, CHU Canada, uh, unlike WWV, CHU Canada broadcasts on fewer frequencies. And um, transmitter power for uh, 3330 kilohertz and uh, 14670 kilohertz is uh, exactly uh, three kilowatts. So uh, that means that being said, if I if this radio could receive three 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 zero kilohertz, I could probably receive it as clear as I am fourteen point six seven zero. However, there is a lot of interference in the lower band. I'm just gonna say that picking up WWV on five megahertz is a nightmare. Anything below that is also a nightmare. And um, of course, there's also uh, the call sign for it used to be 9CC from 1923 to 1928. Uh, thank God for Wikipedia, which is what I'm using right now. Uh, after 1928, it was VE9CC, and uh, until 1938, it was VE9OB. And it's a very nice radio station. It, even though it doesn't broadcast the same format as WWV, it's still a good radio station. Canada. 
As you can see, I'm on 14.670 kilohertz. And they just announced in French. In case you're wondering, I've got two computer speakers. This Harman Kardon computer speaker right here, and that Harman Kardon computer speaker right there. But I had to tape the front because there was a hole in it from where the volume knob used to be. These are modified speakers that I hooked up 3.5 millimeter jacks to, and uh, I connected them to a splitter, which is connected in the front here. I also made a hard wire female plug in the back of the, I mean, inside of the radio, for from fear of this snapping. CHU Canada, coordinated universal time, 17 hours, 24 minutes. <laughs> For some reason, the male French voice is very much weaker than the male American voice. Uh, whenever the French voice comes on, as you can see, the radio signal just dropped drastically, and the VU meter went from over there, went all the way over there. Uh, for some reason, that's just a little bit lower than usual. But on occasions, I can hear the French voice and uh, American voice at the same time. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos, because I... Um, just today, I ordered the WR120B, the Midland WR300, and I also ordered the Radio Shack 12-500 Cube Radio. So I'll be making some videos with those, and I ordered some Midland strobe lights for them, and uh, you'll see some upcoming videos which will have more information on that. So uh, subscribe for more videos, guys. Bye.